Hello, everybody. Welcome back to In Out the Lead, the show where we review both new and older movies. This is Gino. This is Robert. America. Ricardo. And Gio. And guys, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to what we're going to talk about later on today because Maki Mak is in the movie. <laughs> but before we get to that, does anybody have a baby review? I don't. No one. No, I haven't seen anything. I think this is a rare one. We don't have yeah. a baby. Oh, I kind of you know have what? a baby uh, yeah. review. It's not even a real movie, but fuck it. You do? Yeah. Baby mm. review. <laughs> baby review. Yeah, so um, I don't know about you guys, but I've been watching this. Um, I guess it's a movie, and then now it's a documentary. Yeah. Okay. And it's the the Kanye West documentary. Oh, it's it's probably one of the best documentaries I've seen in a long time. This is on Netflix, right? Yeah, no, I haven't seen okay. it. And it's it's crazy because yeah. it's like a first part, second part, but it is a full movie though. It's like an hour or like two hour movie mm-hmm. each part. Mm-hmm. So it's it's super good. But I guess then again, I love Kanye West, oh. so, <laughs> so I don't even know. Like it's probably biased, but I. The fucking documentary is probably one of the coolest documentaries I ever seen. He's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Does it show a lot of that or like? Not yet. No. No. It's still in the beginning stages. Oh. It was like his whole career. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's cool. And they filmed it. Like they filmed oh. everything when he was like uh, nobody. It's awesome, dude. The way that he literally was trying so hard to like get to the point where he is now. A billionaire? Fuck. It's fucking awesome. So, so it'll make us feel sorry for him the way he's crazy? Or is it, should we just be like, <laughs> it's, nah. it's, it's fucked up because he is he, he has problems, you know? He just has to take pills, but he doesn't want to do it. But that's it. Other than that, he'll probably be really, really good. And every time he comes out with an album, I fucking, I'm into it. So, And, and they even show, like, shots, like, because he, he has a guy following him, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, he already knew. He was like, follow me. I'm going to make it, right? And then he goes into like these, like the studios, or like he goes to the offices, and he fucking starts performing for people, and everybody just laughs at He's him. He's trying dude. to get like a record deal. What? Yeah, like oh, they, cool. nobody Demoing. takes him serious. Dude. Yeah, so this is going all the way back to yeah. before he was like famous. Damn. Oh yeah. shit! Cool. The, the only thing is that he he did beats, right? Everybody yeah. knows that he does mm-hmm. beats. So he got wait, wait, money. wait, I don't know. No, oh, yeah. So he he's a producer, right? So he produced for other artists before he was. Famous, famous, yeah. yeah. Oh, so he okay. would do it, and then like they, he got famous, right? Or not famous, but like only like some hip hop people. His foot in the door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and okay. but he only wanted to be a rapper. Mm-hmm. He wanted to rap, and nobody, over, nobody took him serious. He didn't stop though. He like, he he, he the way he is now. You know how he talks. That's mm-hmm. how he was. Yeah, it's badass. Watch, I I literally like. So there's only one out right now. Two. There's two? two episodes, yeah. I mean, I might wait. Like, you honestly hooked me. Yeah. So I might watch this. Is it the, gonna be like a next, three-parter? Or yeah, it's a three-part. And oh. then they always show when it ends, they show what's hap- what's going to happen next, kind of. Like, you know? Like, next week on Kanye. <laughs> yeah, kind of, you know? Like, they're <laughs> in the credits. <laughs> and it's cool because the guy that's making the movie, it's just a friend who was like, oh, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm down. Let's, I'll follow you, you know? And that's it. He followed him the whole time. So he was betting on himself, essentially, mm-hmm. like, back in the day. Like, hey, betting document this because I'm going to be big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's okay, fucking, that's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty dope, cool. man. And then like, um, it it kind of and it ended in a weird way now because it's true. Like it ended good. Like he got the Grammy, right? And mm-hmm. everybody was like, "Yeah, fucking there you he is." He gets recognized. He's right there on top. He won for best new artist. Is that what it was? Uh, or album? Album? Yeah. Album? Yeah. So he was too good. He got nominated. Uh, I think he got the uh, ten nominations. Damn. So that's close to Michael Jackson. You know. Okay. But um, when it ended, you know, the credits, then they start showing everything that's going to happen. And, you know, the craziness and the Trump uh, thing. And it's like, oh, opioids. Gonna, yeah. So they're going to show modern what happened, you know. So can't wait. I just can't wait to see the great, TV great watch. Again. Though. I'm telling you right now. What's it called? Ye, like uh, genius, but ye, genius, genius, oh, yeah, genius, yeah, because he's what, because he's yay, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, there you oh, go, yeah, 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 like it's just like what the fuck and i just go back and it's like look 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 i get so excited well to me is this is my type of shit you know so i like it good watch if you guys are bored take a watch okay sounds great now that I'm, now <laughs> you we never say- said what you were though oh yeah oh i yeah. am a super in on this oh, okay Two thirds in, because <laughs> there's still one one part missing and there's a sequel yeah there's, so there's two two so two ins baby review <laughs> 
baby review. All right, let's get to the new movie, guys. Let's get started with uh, the new movie. Robert, what do you watch? God, it's been so long, I feel. <laughs> we watched our new movie this week. It's called Uncharted. Mm-hmm. And it's directed by Ruben Fleischer. Mm-hmm. And it stars Tom Holland and... Mark Wahlberg. How's it going, go. guys? <laughs> and it's me. about street smart Nathan Drake is recruited by season's treasure hunter, Victor Soli Sullivan. It's a great name. To recover a fortune amassed by Ferdinand Magellan that was lost <laughs> 500 years ago <laughs> by the house of Moncada. Da-na-na. I mean, you obviously it's based on a video game, yeah. Yes. Um, it's, for me, it's... Should I say it now or later? Okay, look, Just, this is based on a video game right. that was based essentially on Raiders of the Lost Ark, right? Basically. Yes. You yeah. know, so you've seen it before. You've seen Indiana Jones, you've seen mm-hmm. National Treasure, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's derivative, right? <laughs> yes. But I don't know. Honestly, I kind of had a good time. I'm, I'm an in. Okay. I, <laughs> I, you know, it's, it's, it's not, honestly, we saw it like a week ago. And I forgot about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I, I can't tell you what happened or who happened, you know? <laughs> but well, honestly, while we were sitting there, I had a decent time. Like, I think, honestly, I think, yes, Tom Holland was kind of miscast as, as Nathan, you know, okay. from the video yeah. game. Sure. But I think he's he's a good leading man because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the little adventure. Mm-hmm. I do think it's funny that he's, like, trying really hard. Even though he's kind of spider manning it, you know? Yeah. But he's trying really hard. And then Mark Wahlberg is just, like... Yeah. It's a joke to him. He's yeah. not even trying to act, you know? <laughs> and the movie has like 20 plot twists. And honestly, I was there. Like, I, I gasped at some of them. I was yeah. like, oh, I didn't see it coming, you know? <laughs> so while I was there, while I was sitting there, and it could be a little asterisk, you know? Because I saw it with these guys, American Ricardo. Uh, okay. And we had some, we may or may not have had some drinks while oh, we're watching okay. it. So that could have like, you know, <laughs> enhanced, the, enhanced the experience, okay. you know. So maybe that's why, because we were laughing and stuff like that. So like, I had a good time, but I honestly forgot about it. If you don't like these type of movies, there's nothing there for you. You know, you've seen it all before. Um, but I kind of enjoyed it. Ricardo, oh, I, mean, <laughs> uh, I am. I don't know. Like I'm a. Ugh, that was hard, but I, I think I'm an out. Uh, yeah, it's it's funny because um like. It was it, it, it was cool, right? Seeing some <laughs> stuff here or there, but and there was kind of funny too, like little parts. But I don't know, like I think the the casting is bad, you know. Like yeah. okay. Spider Man is like he's playing Spider Man, right? Yeah. It's the same, and then in the video game, he's a man, so I was kind of confused, you know. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, isn't he like a, it's a full grown grown man? man. Yeah. yeah. Well, there might be a reason for that. Yeah, like home. you know, like they told me that they, they, they went back and stuff, but. It's true. Like, I think he's he's actually a good actor, though. Yeah. And, like, there's scenes where he's, like, crying. He's, like, and he's, really trying. Yeah, yeah, trying, right? And he's going to cry. And then they show Marky Mark. And he, like, <laughs> does, like, a... <laughs> you know, like, he's trying to, not to laugh or something. It's, yeah. like, it's ridiculous. He fucks it up. So, I, I think... I don't know. That's why I'm an out. Like, it was cool. It was fine, you know. And some action scenes were too fast. I think too, like they were like cutting so fast that I was kind of getting lost. But I don't know. I, maybe I have to watch it again because it's like he said. No, I, I, kinda, I would never watch it again. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> forgot. Like I kind of yeah. forgot that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I forgot what was going on or if I even cared. But that's that's. What about you, America? Delete. Oh. oh. Deleted. Hey man, I, I saw you there. You were having a good time. Yeah, <laughs> Don't lie. He was alcohol. Look, yeah. No, I actually only had half a beer. I oh. was like, I'm driving. I'm already. Oh, really she was sleepy. being the DD. Let's let's not, you know, because if I finished my beer, I would have fallen asleep. This movie was really long. I did laugh because I think it was ridiculous, mm. but. I don't have any kind of attachment to this movie, video game, whatever it is. Mm. And it is Mark Wahlberg. What are you doing? <laughs> and fucking Spider-Man. What are you doing? Like, it's just, it's all over the place. And just, there's nothing in it for me. So I have to delete it. It just, if it had ended an hour and a half in, <laughs> I might have given it an out, you know, because I, I laughed, you know, but it was just a little too much for me. Uh, Gio, Gino, what did you think? Uh, I'm an in, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> fist bump. I, had a good t- I had a good time, fist bump. I had a good time. Isn't that, you got to go in with your, like, 
lights off in your head. You know what I mean? You gotta go. Well, that's with... easy for you. Yeah. Wow. America <laughs> lost her. <laughs> lost her glasses. <laughs> she laughed so hey, hard. I was right there with you, bro. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie. I don't know, man. Yeah. You're, you're bullying. Why are you bullying me? <laughs> Just a quick question. Uh, did you play the games, guys? I, I, I have a feeling you did. Games. I did play the games. And I agree with Ricardo. It is a grown ass man. And it was like, there was some comedy to it, but they overdid it in this movie. But I, I got on to it. I was like, it's cool, man. You do you. And Mark Wahlberg, he was just being himself. I bet directors was like, Mark, just do you, man. Tom, you're going to be like this. <laughs> and Mark's like, how's it going? Yeah, I'm Sully. I feel like he saw all the impressions that and everybody made that you made. Uh-huh. And he's like, I'm going to try to out Mark Wahlberg. Mark there, Mal- Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Crazy, you know? right? But you can't. Because yeah. he's like, I have a cat over here. I never go anything about Mr. Like Mr. Whiskers. Like this all the time. Yeah. He always, yeah, he always has a weird facial expression. Like he's shocked, mm-hmm. and it could be like the smallest thing. Like he's dropped his keys. Like, oh, I have. A, he has like a very like serious face. He looks down. It's like he stumbled onto the set and doesn't know like what's where, going on. Yeah, he's just, like, he's, well, his like, markers are. He's just like, I'm going over here. And like, no, no, the camera's over here. But I'm going over here. Yeah. No, but I'm going over here. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Nathan, I'm over here now. You over there? Why? Why are you over there? Because I'm over here now. And um, and you know what? Then Tom Holland, like, yeah, he was being Spider Man again. But you gotta admit though, they're trying to make him like manly when he was doing those pull ups and shit yeah, with yeah. his shirt. Oh, uh, my yeah. girl, my girl was like finding herself, and I was like, <laughs> I'm like, woman, you better stop doing that I, shit. I, I think it's his voice. I think it's his voice. That yeah, it he has a piece. He has the body and everything. It's just the voice. his voice. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the way he acts because he's still yeah. acting like Spider Man. Spider Man's like, a kid. Yeah, yeah. No, like he says, like, oh, sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I mean to. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, and he's like, I steal people. And then I was like, <laughs> Whatever, either way, I had fun. I got, I got a good time. I, I, I don't care. Like, I, it was bad. It was terrible. I, the one thing I would say I didn't like is like, they, they, you know, they kill someone in the movie. Like, mm-hmm. it, there's murder in the movie. Come on, the game too. Yeah. It's very PG, and you're like, come on, guys. Oh yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, at least like cut away, like show the feet or something. You're gonna show a dead body with no blood. Like, don't do, don't do no blood. That's it's when I guess. <laughs> All right, either way, Gio, go for it. Yeah. I agree with everything you guys have said so far. With everybody? Yeah, because... Wow. <laughs> well, because I, I do agree. It is like... With, like yeah, with what you said, Robert. It's... It didn't invent anything new. Sure. It's yeah. very by the book. Yeah. Where it, you're like... It's a popcorn movie. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also not that good. <laughs> So like it's almost you have to kind of grade it on that curve. It is on a curve. That's it why it's on a curve. But for me, it's a passing, just slightly passing on that curve. Yeah, you that's know? why. Where it's just like I didn't completely hate my time. Where it's just like that's why I'm like I, I don't know. Just go out, man. You're you're yeah. I think me. I'm gonna go out. <laughs> that's right. It's like it's All good right. for one watch, <laughs> which I think everybody has said it's good for yeah. one watch. It's it's a it's a fine movie. Yeah. It's not. It's not great. It's okay. It's serviceable as a movie. Mm-hmm. There's a plot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Somewhat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I I kind of do see the, the whole like Tom Holland thing. I think that's just, I don't know either. I was going to say he doesn't have range, but I think we did see that one movie, the, that one that he was on in Netflix. Yeah. So there, so he, he can does, act. So yeah. he does have range, but I think it. I think, I think they just wanted that. He just needs to lead the movie, and he, and that's why I say he did. He did. But, he did do a good job. It's just that I think it's more on like the direction he was given. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He also, wasn't really given anything, you know. I think. Yeah, I think you're right because because I think that's also. Yeah, because I think that because that argument can also be used against Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, but we already said that he's... No, no, no he's, that's why. He's nothing. So that's why know? we're falling on the yeah. direction. Like, it was just like, you do you, and then you do you. Yeah. And but, that's it. But that's what I mean. For yeah. him to to make this somewhat enjoyable, that's all on his shoulders, you yeah. know? And he, like, to me, all, he pulled it off. And that is the job of a leading, leading, yeah. you know, leading actor, you know? Also, they don't necessarily get cast for their acting abilities. They yeah. get cast to be them essentially like tom cruise right he's always yeah. kind of the same person yeah you know yeah. in the lead you know the also like so in, in this movie uh, so the movie's based on the like we already said it's based the on the video game, game. Uncharted. yeah, yeah this new oh shit <laughs> <laughs> uh ps4 so, uncharted Let's get, go on so i'm like it, i'm just gonna dip into a little bit of like i guess what we kind of had i kind of had for the trivia or whatever Don't but like this movie 
I guess. Wait, 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 wait. The- before you say that, I think I know where you're going. I had a question. Because okay. you, you, Gio, and Gino, you played the game, right? right. No, I never played Oh, you never played it? No. I played like one level of one of the games. I okay. passed that motherfucker. Say, okay, so the question is, was this story in the video games? Or is so this a brand new story? That's where I was kind of... Yeah, that's, it's, why, that's it's, what I wanted to ask. It's a mixture... It's not fully like the first game. It's it's somewhat of like, I think the other sequels. Because I haven't played the other sequels. I only played the first one. No, it's all brand new. Well, it is and it isn't. So, like, timeline-wise... That's why I said, like, you guys are, are, like, bringing it up. It's like, he's a kid. Well, because technically, the movie is a prequel to the, the games. games. So However, exists in the canon of the video games? Y- somewhere. Yeah. So, like, the way, like, they're kind of building it is the movie exists before the games. Hence why, uh, there's going to be a bit of a spoiler alert, Mark Wahlberg doesn't have a mustache. Because apparently he oh has a God. mustache. <laughs> <laughs> No spoiler. way. Well, spoiler. the thing is that like really a spoilers in the trailer too. So. Yeah, which is stupid. Uh, they put a mid credit scene in the fucking trailer. Uh, oh my god, no, that's a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, because in the video but games that, we left. We didn't watch any of <laughs> well, them. Well, in that in the video games, really? his character Damn. I guess has the mustache. So this is kind of that's why everybody was like, "Where's the mustache?" Oh my god. So Where this did is you get the the origin of the mustache. <laughs> it was called. Yeah, it was on Wikipedia. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so this movie. Like the whole story is before the video games, but it takes elements from the fourth video game. Yeah, see. Mm-hmm. So it takes like action elements from the fourth video game, not the storyline, but elements like is, is and it the makes it this one. boat chase in the video game. I think um, the hell heli- the airplane thing. The airplane is. thing. Is. Airplane thing. I think is too. No, yeah, I, don't so not the I don't remember the boat. I thought I that was pretty cool, but I didn't think it was cool enough. Like the thing, like it was very like like I compare this to. If you're going to have wacky, like, set pieces like that, mm-hmm. I compare it to, like, like parts of the Caribbean. Because they yeah. have stuff like yeah. that where they swing from other... Sh- they're in a fucking um, hurricane, you know, they're fighting, yeah. you know. And it just wasn't quite on that level of, like, imaginativeness, you know. And they were, you know? they were cut too fast. Yeah, it just... It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't very well shot, yeah. you know, which leads to... Because it was all on a green screen, you know. Yeah. And when you don't have, like, a director who's, like, telling you good at that you know i guess <laughs> it just falls kind of it's kind of bland dude oh, you know there is this one scene or you probably know that um you know that scene where they're in the plane yeah falling and then the girl that's like a bad girl and then she becomes a good girl mm-hmm. and they're bad again and, yeah, yeah she she um she just like, can't follow, trust anybody in this game she, follow me or something right mm-hmm. and then she's talking and then he's moving and the camera's moving they made it look like the video game right there and there like just that little I thought well, because it's all CGI, talking. it's not that hard. <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying like the way they moved it, and then like she's talking, it's kind of like because you're, pray- you're playing. It felt like you wanted yeah, to control yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, really. that's how I felt when there was the crane. Like when he was on the away. cranes, I kept like trying to press like square, circle, no, no square. The entire mo- no wonder the entire movie I was twitching like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's how you put it. Like, like, like the the, 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 scene the controller like, spasm. Yeah. Where he's like jumping, he's like falling off the airplane, yeah. he's like jumping from yeah. the crates. You know. That should be more fun. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it just wasn't quite. I'm going to talk myself into an out, you know, because yeah. well, it's weird work. because no, because I did enjoy my time. I was just saying, it's you know, serviceable. It's, it's serviceable. Yeah. But should I give it a passing grade? I will because I just I know it's like oh, yeah. for, remember, for a lot of people, they watch it. They're not as critical. Right. Mm-hmm. So they might enjoy this more. I do. Um, remember, a but C, even like a C a, is but even looks like, like bad, but it's okay, still a passing grade. But even grade. Like, like National Treasure, that's not yeah. a great no. cinematic masterpiece. But I, I enjoy the hell out of it. you watch that for Nicolas Cage. But no, but, but that's way more enjoyable. And this is essentially that. Yeah. Like they took a lot of elements from that. Like, oh, we got to solve the puzzles. You but know? at least like, with that one, you have like it leans towards the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> no, but what <laughs> like, I'm saying like is that, that that if that's the curve, right? Yeah. National Treasure is the curve, you know, and that's already low. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if for it to be a little bit lower than that, you know, not as good as National Treasure, then that's. I think the set that's pieces. Where you're at, you know? I think the set pieces and the ridiculousness is probably but a little I, bit better on National Treasure. That's which what I'm saying. Makes it, yeah, makes it, it, it more of that charm. You have the ridiculous, yeah. set, and that that's fine. But you got to be more fun. You there, know? There's a, there's some scenes that actually had um, good stunts though. You remember when um like they would toss him? It would look so fucking. It would look real or something. Yeah. Like those scenes were kind of cool, right? Or no? You guys were not uh, into it. I, I was, was into it. Like it's like we keep saying, it was just fine. You know, it didn't quite reach that level. It was like. When you go watch these movies, like it's like Mission Impossible. Fucking Tom Cruise hangs off oh. an airplane, and that motherfucker is hanging off an airplane. Yeah. You know, so it's like it makes you believe buy I, into it a little bit more. Yeah, because you know? with 
that like that and let's go with the Fast and Furious movies. It's always like trying to top itself. Yeah. Like how can we make this more ridiculous like mm-hmm. we need the one giant set piece mm-hmm. okay and then you know to build two another thing but this one never kind of ha- i yeah. think like you said it might have been the boats i was waiting for that to be like yeah the best big one. girl yeah yeah because the action mm-hmm. scenes were like like kind of whack right mm-hmm. they could have been better but the story was even like worse i think the story was so bad yeah there was, was just, no story yeah and it was there was no story dude and i remember i was like um during the movie i was yeah. talking to her and I, was, I told her i was like dude oh we're missing we're missing the the who's it gonna be i told her is it gonna be marky mark or the girl that's gonna turn because i <laughs> it has to happen because nothing's happening <laughs> remember when i was telling you it has to happen because it's like this is not going anywhere they're gonna do something to make it more exciting but it was it was not good writing. I think it's a bad story. And I think that's the part that messed it up the most. Hey, you guys want to hear some fun facts? Sure. Yeah. Oh. And now it's time for Geo's Fun Fact Corner. Kick right. it off. I don't know what you got. Yeah. Uh, I don't have many. Because, okay. uh, yeah. Uh, so this is uh, the first feature production of Sony PlayStation Productions. Oh, oh yeah. I saw that in the beginning. Oh. So that My means that God. how many more movies are they going to make? <laughs> you know Every what? Video game they they got God of War, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yeah, I'm actually technically... God of War should be... The hey, well, right? they do have that, that Sony animation department. Mm-hmm. They have good, they have they have good animation. The, they could the, probably the do that. The one with the little girl? What? Oh, Last of Us? Last that's of us? HBO. That's oh, yeah, HBO. That's, being a, that's being a TV show. HBO. Oh. With, I think uh, that's being a series. With oh. Pedro Pascal. Dude, I remember... The Mando. Dude, like my brother plays that shit, right? Mm-hmm. And I would love watching just the videos. Remember when we were watching one time and the girl was going to kill herself? Oh, yeah. Damn, it was fucking awesome. Awesome. Fuck, they fuck it up. And they have a good story there. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. All right. This one's for <laughs> America because we kind of made up our own little movie within the movie when this happened. Uh-huh. And then I read about it. I was like, oh, my God. So when Nathan and Chloe, the bad girl that turns good and bad again, walk on the beach... There's a man who they talk to. Yes. And he's like, hey, that, that seems familiar oh. or something. And mm-hmm. we're like, what the fuck is going on? You know? I knew that. We're like, yeah, I forgot. That we one. made up our own movie. Like, oh, they ended up on the movie from the beach from old. <laughs> yeah. And that person has been there for like eternity or something. <laughs> and we just, we went off on like a tangent while watching the movie. But it turns out that that guy, and Gino, you know this obviously, yeah. but uh, yeah. he is the voice of Nathan Drake in the video game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nolan oh. North. As soon as he talked, I was like, oh, it's Nathan. And then my, I was like, woo. And everyone's like, huh? So, so, so I I didn't know that, but I felt that was that's what that was because just the random it line just seems so out of place. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I was just like, this is a cameo. Yeah, this is a cameo right here. And then when I got home, I was just like, yep, he's he's the guy that did the voice. Okay, yeah, that is kind of a fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. So we all know Mark Mark got the role of Sully, but yeah. before him, mm-hmm. it was it almost went to Brian Cranston, oh, Jake what? Gyllenhaal, oh. Chris Pratt. Chris Pine, Chris, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pontius, <laughs> yeah. Matthew McConaughey, all right. all right, Woody Harrelson. They were all considered for the role before Woody Harrelson. Harrelson. And I think literally any, maybe not all of them, but most of them would have been better than Marky Mark. Yeah. I would say Woody Harrelson. He's very wacky yeah. type character. No, Brian, Captain, I think Brian Cranston would have been Brian Captain Captain dope. Yeah. What about the Captain America? That would have been perfect. No, right? no, because they, they're no. Marvel people. Stop. Marvel. They should have gone with John <laughs> no. Cena. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's too much muscle, oh, man. I think I think two muscle. others that I think he left off were uh, De Niro and Joe Pesci. <laughs> were they too? I think the they in the really. That, yeah. I think in the early early <laughs> stages. Imagine? Wait, Dude, what are you funny? Oh. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been like freaking uh, Home Alone. Yeah. Does they have to be that old though? That's too old. I mean, like, Sully is an older guy. I mean, like, Sully is an older guy. I mean, like, Sully is an older guy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Because, like, you, you <laughs> see it in the movie, insane. it's supposed to be his mentor. He <laughs> wow. literally said the exact same yeah, thing at the exact same time. Yeah. Wow. That was good. You see, I'm on your brain level, bro. Yeah. See? So I was making fun of both of us. <laughs> Freaking Wonder Twins over here. That's all I got. That's all I got, Gio, if you got any more. Uh, no, that's, I think that's all. Alright, so... And that was Geo's Fun Fact Corner. That is beautiful. It's time to take out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> let's Never wrap mind. it up. <laughs> Alright, so we have, let's see, two ins. Are you still in? Yeah. Okay, two ins, two outs, and one delete. Damn you, America. <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding. It's all good. I expected it. I was ready for it. I'm like, she won't, be del- she won't delete this. Why are you going to delete this? It's a good movie. 
Oh, man. I wish he had, I wish there was more fun facts about Marky Mark, man. I would love to hear it. The way he talks is there. He slows down, then he speeds up, and then he slows down One again. One fun fact was Marky Mark talks like a fucking idiot during the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he's questioning everything he's there. Yeah, and and he's like he makes the plan, really and he still too. questions it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next movie. To continue on our theme of... Uh, Movies based, based on, on books. books. Movies based on books. But it has to be a movie. It has to be a book that you read. Yes. Okay. And this is your turn, actually, Robert. Yeah. Well, actually, before I say my pick, can I say something really? Go quick? ahead. All right. You know, because you know, like ever since we turned this into a competition, you know, like I talked oh, a lot about God. winning. You know, I made it all about winning. You know, but to me, winning is not about how many votes your movie gets or how many trophies you have. It's more about like the relationship between you and your co-host. You know. It's about being able to look them in the eye and know that you didn't let them down, you know? Because there wasn't anything else you could have done. There wasn't one more thing you could have done. There wasn't one movie out there that would have been better than the one you picked, you know? And if you can do that with clear eyes (laughs) and love in your heart, with joy in your heart, then you're a winner, (laughs) you know? And you know, my heart is full, guys. My heart's full. You oh, sound like a fucking loser. <laughs> I, I guess I should. I guess I should. For your consideration. <laughs> I guess I showed you guys what I thought about you when I picked the fucking bell jar. <laughs> Does anybody know where that's from? Uh, Rocky? No. I was thinking about Rocky no. Balboa. No? Yeah. It's from... Friday Night Lights. Oh, yeah. good that's one. like that big halftime speech mm-hmm. that the coach makes to the team, you know? Because ah. they end up losing in the movie. Spoiler alert! <laughs> you know, but their hearts are full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bunch of losers, but their hearts is full. It wasn't about the destination. It was about the yeah, journey. It's about the journey. Ah. It's about our relationship, oh, you know, I as co Yeah, the ring. I, I love the it. I teared, I teared up because <laughs> I know I'm not going to win ever, <laughs> and especially with this pick, because my pick is called The Firm. And it's directed by Sidney Pollack and stars Tom Cruise and Gene Hackman. Mm -hmm. And it's about a young hotshot law student who's about to graduate, right? And he's being courted by every single law firm. Like all the biggest law firms Mm -hmm. in in the the U.S. want him, right? And he ends up getting an offer from a small little firm Mm -hmm. called Bendini, Lambert, and Locke. Right? And it's an offer. It ends up being an offer that he can't refuse because they give him more money than anybody else. They give him a brand new car. They give him a brand new house. Literally everything you could ever want. Right? So he Mm -hmm. ends up going with them. But as he starts working with them, he starts to find that there's something kind of strange going on with the firm. Because there's been four dead lawyers in the past 10 years. And they died like in very mysterious ways. And one day, he gets approached by the FBI. FBI, Mm -hmm. And they tell him that the firm that you work for is the firm. They work for the mob. They launder their money. And they said, you need to help us take them down or else you're going to go to jail. That's that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool setup, right? Yeah. (laughs) Honestly. And honestly, I mean, it's based on a book by John Grisham, the same name. Right. And I love the book. I read it when I was in high school. Right. And the reason why I picked this, you might be wondering, like, why the fuck did you pick this? It's because you're doing like a million better things to pick. (laughs) Because it was the first time that I read a book. That's the first time I read a book, but the first time I read a book <laughs> like, com- and immediately wanted to watch the adaptation. I've like, okay. been so excited to because I knew that they had made a movie mm-hmm. and I loved the book so much that I went straight to the video store and I rented it. And I actually had to rent the VHS because they didn't have the DVD of it oh, at the time. Wow. You know, at the local wow, store. it must have been popping yeah. at the time that <laughs> yeah. somebody got the DVD. You know? <laughs> and I remember like... I went home and I watched it. And like I said, it was like the first time, you know, Mm -hmm. and like most people's first time it was incredibly disappointing and just like (laughs) anticlimactic. I was was so disappointed by it. I'm an out on the movie. Because like I, I think it has a great setup. Uh Like it's like a chessboard, right? All the pieces get set up well. I think it's it's cast well. I think um, Tom Cruise's Mitch is good. But it ends up like once it gets to like the... Because it's a thriller, right? right. It's supposed mm-hmm. to thrill you. And once it gets to those parts that are supposed to be like high tension, mm-hmm. it doesn't really do it for me. Like it, mm-hmm. it it just goes. And I'm not even comparing it to the book yet. It's just the story in the movie. It just doesn't really hit. It doesn't have as much tension as it should have. And it was just so disappointing, you know? 
So I don't hate it. Like I said, it's like the beginning is really good, but I think it just kind of falls off the rails and it ends up being kind of boring mm-hmm. by the end. You know, so I'm out. Um, Gino, what did you think? Man, uh, I remember watching this on my my Amazon Prime before they actually. Now that we saw it, uh, I had to rent it because they, they took it off the Prime. Mm-hmm. So you've seen to it before. I've never seen it before. Yeah. And this is like what, this is so many of her, the early Tom Cruise. I skipped this one because I had to binge watch like eighty Tom Cruise movies at the time. I was like watching. <laughs> what you had business. to? Oh, I personally had. I personally had to because I'm like he's a Tom Cruise fan. I, Tom I Tom guess fan. so. Yeah. So I had to. I only watched the two thousands. I got to watch the, his early stuff. You know. So, of course, a risky business and, you know, the fucking cocktail of all fucking Tom Cruise movies. You know, he's just flipping bottles. He's basically the same character he is he's in this, this one. one. Like the young well, that's hot how, shot. You that's know? how he got himself through college. That's, a, that's what we're talking about. Like the whole like the typecasting prequel. thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that was the prequel. Yeah. That was what he was doing while in college, paying for a law school. And then that's and then where we saw it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so. Rayman. Uh, Rayman. That was a great one. Though. That was a great one, though. <laughs> Wasn't he also a lawyer in that I don't remember. I don't know. I've never seen Rain Man. Oh my god. Oh wow. Let's that, move on. We're talking about the fern ring. Right okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so um that being said, I'm an out on this one as well. Mm. Um it started off great. I I was feeling the suspense and I was like, oh my god, this is so good. And the payoff was just terrible. Like it built up to nothing. <laughs> and I was so disappointed because I was like, damn, Robert got a good pick. I was like, oh my god. And then all of a sudden, the sunset and they drive. And I'm just like <laughs> That's Fuck. it. That's it. That's it. The FBI, even if it's like, that's it. <laughs> even the FBI said it themselves in the movie, and I'm like, that's it. So, um, yeah, I wish I would. I wish I would. I want to. I but this makes you want to read the book because I feel like books climax is yeah. better in my opinion. And I, I yeah, hope climax. I, <laughs> Cochino. <laughs> but yeah, overall, that's, I, I think it's enough. I mean, eh. Ricardo, oh, yeah. you go, bro. <laughs> the climax. <laughs> um. No, I'm the same. Uh, I'm an out. Okay. It, it sucks because because um I was excited. Yeah. I, I actually liked the beginning and everything. I was I was into it, but it started getting boring for some reason. Like they either they took too long or like the suspense was like dragged or something was happening. But I was I was slowly getting out. You know, I was mm-hmm. like, damn, because like the story is there. Yeah. yeah, and the story is really it's good. It's right there. Yeah, it's yeah. it's so good. It's just they're missing those little. I don't know. Maybe the 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 way they they did it right. Like maybe the 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 chase wasn't as good. Even though it was like it could have been good. I I saw it. It's there. It's right. Just, I don't know. It's missing some spots, and it did get a little bit boring. That I started like dozing off. That sucks because I was I was excited. I was like, "Oh, Robert did it! There it is!" Because <laughs> I was like, "I never, yeah. I never even heard of this movie." Wow. So, yeah. So when I saw it, I was like, "Oh shit! Like this is oh okay, okay." Yeah. You yeah. know. And then it just uh, backfired. That sucks, man. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm right. I'm literally right there with you. Yeah. America. So funny that you're an out because I feel like I'm used to shitting on your movies. Yeah. I'm like they're boring, you were they're waiting long, for whatever. It, yeah. And I was like, I was gonna buy you some flowers to be like, I'm sorry, I don't know why. Like, I don't like your movies, you know. <laughs> so it's it's funny because it does start off good. I think mm. I'd never heard of this book, movie, nothing. I don't think I've ever seen a Tom Cruise movie. Mm. Honestly, like what? guy, make guy gordo. Like I've never wanted to watch his movies. <laughs> That's interesting. So I was like, all right, here like, we go. Like Meyer, so and <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, I was already kind of like, uh, I don't want to see this guy. But then I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. But I think as like once they finish setting up what the movie's about, mm-hmm. they give you the clues and you already know mm-hmm. how it's going to end. And there's still two hours left of the yep. movie. And it's just like, eh, uh, uh. Uh, it could have been so exciting and it just wasn't. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to be an out. Mm. Oh, she's being nice. Yeah. You? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh my God, the wild card. Yeah, I've been looking at his face, <laughs> so he's been kind of surprised. So I think because I, di- like, I do like the premise. Yeah. Like not God. the, you guys, like, yeah, you guys talking about it is like, okay, I can kind of see where you guys are going. I think it's okay. It's okay enough to give it the in. Wow, you're giving it an in. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Like I said, I, 
Yeah. See, no, my heart's like, full. <laughs> my heart is full. You're already winning. Yeah, yeah just the I'm one. I'm a winner. Yeah. I'm a winner. No, because I like, like I said, I like the premise, but like not listening to you guys was like, oh no, yeah, it could, it, it does. I, I agree. The ending it does get a little bit messy, and I think characters kind of break character. Let's say, like they act out of character, which yeah. or I think it's asking a lot. I think in certain cases, yeah. Um, but I think I think it's just because of the premise itself. I think is what it's I think. A great what, premise, yeah. yeah really I think it's what caught is, me. Yeah. I did read a little bit. No, you did. After, I didn't read the book, but oh. like I did read. I guess what the differences are. And well, I'll so go you, into those. So, yeah. Okay. So lead us in, my friend. Okay. So <laughs> even before we get to the differences in the book, mm-hmm. what makes me mad about the movie is, like I said, the climax, the mm-hmm. the resolution, how he resolves everything, right? Because in the movie, the resolution, how he gets out of everything, is basically. He finds out that the firm has been overbilling their clients, yeah. right? Yes. Like they literally take the their the the lawyer's timesheets and change them in the computer, mm-hmm. right? So he goes and is like, oh, that's illegal. So he gives that information to the FBI and he tells the the mafia, hey, your firm has been doing this. And that's how he solves everything, mm-hmm. right? And in a way, I could see why they did it to condense, obviously, but it just doesn't work. On any level, even like within the movie, even within the reality of the movie, it doesn't work because a one thing once because he finds that out pretty early, right? Yeah. When everything's happening, yeah. and once he finds that out and he decides that's the way I'm gonna go, that's what deflates all the tension, because now because he has to go get those files in the Cayman Islands, right? Mm-hmm. But he doesn't need them. He already says he doesn't need them. So why is there tension there? Why should we feel anything? Because he's already saw. He already saw what he's gonna do. Yeah. Right. And and another thing, it doesn't make sense because this law firm, their job is literally to make everything that's illegal or borderline illegal legal. legal. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. They dot every I and cross every T. That's literally what nice. they do. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck would they change leave a paper trail? Leave a paper trail where they change, literally change the hours on the timesheet. They, they would just tell their lawyers, hey, charge this amount. They would never leave a paper trail. A, a law firm like that, where that's literally their job. They get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to do that. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't make any sense. And that's what pisses me off. And that's what pissed me off in the movie. I think how you, when you said that, he already knows what they're doing. He knows what direction he's going to attack them from. Yeah. And he still lets his wife go and like fuck the guy yeah. to get the papers. And I think they did that to give her like something, a, to, something do. to do, yeah. like yeah. make her a character uh, that's yeah. not just a wife. Because they set her up as this woman who has her career and is just supporting her husband who's mm-hmm. going to be a lawyer. But she gets here and it's very Stepford Wives, right? Mm-hmm. They allow mm-hmm. you to have a job. They allow you to this and, and encourage you and to have children. Like, what? That's very weird. Like, yeah. I'm not like that, you know? But at the end of the day, she goes and literally dissolves any personality, career, yeah. anything that she has for herself to help out her husband yeah. for no fucking reason. No like, reason. this guy has been a piece of shit to her. Mm-hmm. Like... What? Yeah, and that's one of the differences in the book because they try to give her something because her development in the book is basically she's fucking hot and they fuck a lot. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't do any of that stuff. Sounds like, like a, book, uh, yeah. a, a lot of the stuff that she does is uh, in the book the the secretary oh, okay. Holly Hunter does. Um, but now we get into the See, that makes the, more yeah. sense because like yeah. that's what I said like things were out of character because yeah. and well even though like she did all that without him knowing that she went to the Cayman Islands to go screw Gene Hackman. Mm-hmm. Like, it just seemed kind of... I, uh, it was messy. Yeah, they didn't that's really, what I said. Like, it was Because by, by that point, when the whole fucking... The, the wrench in the whole thing is him finding out about the, the overbilling thing. Mm-hmm. Because then the movie's over. At that point, yeah. the movie's literally over. And that's yeah. why I said, all the tension that you should have had in the, the, the later half of the movie is non-existent. Mm-hmm. Because he already knows what he's going to do. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? <laughs> it's a, and it's so disappointing because now I go go into the difference in the book because the last like two hundred and fifty pages of the book mm-hmm. are so fucking tense and they're so entertaining because he like in the movie he doesn't trust the firm or the FBI because mm-hmm. they're both fucking stupid 
The yeah. FBI keeps I'm putting well, the FBI in the book keeps putting him in situations that that are dangerous. Mm-hmm. Like he, they almost give him away. And there's a mole in the FBI <gasps> that that's working with the mafia. What? So well, he, that happened. And the, he kind of knows too. that. No, not really. Well, there's a guy, the guard, there's a guard, a yeah. random guard that's yeah. like, hey, that didn't look right. No, and then <laughs> the book, it's an actual like person <laughs> yeah. in in the story. So he has to in the book, he has to stay a step ahead of the the firm mm-hmm. and the FBI. Mm-hmm. So he's fighting both of them essentially. And the whole like last like third of the book is a giant like chase mm-hmm. where he's trying to get his brother out of jail. He's trying to get him to himself to safety, his wife to safety, and he's still trying to get all the information to the FBI. Because in the book they make it clear the the firm is not a separate entity from the mafia. The firm is the mafia. Mm-hmm. And in the book they said no, 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 we're going to kill this motherfucker. We know no. what he's doing, and they're basically chasing him to kill him. You know? It's not It's not some random people that he meets at the end. It's like, hey, I'm working. The, your, your, your firm is overbuilding these customers. No, no, no. They know who he is. They know what he's doing, and they're going to kill him. And it's very, very clear. That's like, like, you sit down, and, like, those last 250 pages, you just, like, fucking in one sitting, you just read it. And it's so fucking exciting. And that's what's so disappointing. It kind of reminds me, <laughs> like... It, for example, like the that one movie, I forget what it's called. The one that the Departed is uh, based, based oh, on. Oh, Infernal Affairs. Infernal Affairs. Yeah, yeah, like it remind me of like th- like you would describe it as like, like the tension. That, the tension yeah, in that it, is what you should have been, felt. Yeah, in this movie because that one was a anything. lot of yeah. a, a lot of that. There's like yeah. the whole double agent kind of thing yeah, situation. He's trying to, trying to avoid each other yeah. and it's like giant it's pretty much a giant chess piece yeah that's yeah. what i'm saying like what what was a chess piece in the beginning ends up being like a fucking game of checkers with like your five-year-old nephew <laughs> that you don't even tell him the rules you know <laughs> it's just it's so it's such a cop-out that ending man is so disappointing I it's very so, hard so yes. disappointing yeah and uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> let's just jump into it let's go to fun facts and now it's time for Geo's Fun Fact Corner. This is a fun one. Um, this is my favorite. Even though I do think Tom Cruise, personality-wise, is right as Mitch. But in the book, uh, Mitch is described as a former college quarterback who is 6'3". Tom Cruise is 5'5". Five five. <laughs> <laughs> oh Nowhere near a quarterback. Yeah. yeah. Um, Holly Hunter, the, the secretary girl, she's on screen for five, six minutes. And she was nominated for an Academy Award for this movie. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of the shortest performances <laughs> ever to be nominated for an Academy what? Award. Yeah. That's funny. And Who is that? Who is that? Holly Hunter. She was the secretary, secretary. girl. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. I think she's the voice of Miss Incredible. She yeah, is. she is. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We said it. Um, you can't, like, with that voice, she can't really hide it. Let me do a couple more, Gio, and then I'll hand it off to you. So, John Grisham was fucking hot. In the 90s and tailing off in the early 2000s. Oh, I thought you were like, what? Yeah. He looked good? What's yeah. <laughs> well, maybe too, you know? But here are all the adaptations from his, from his books in the 90s and the early 2000s. The Client, The Firm, The Pelican Brief, A Time to Kill, The Rainmaker, The Chamber, Runaway Jury, and the only one of his movies that That's became a classic. Law? No, that became a classic. <laughs> Christmas with the Cranks. <laughs> oh my god no way. That's, that's based funny. on one of his books uh, Boy, That's literally one of these things Is not like the other <laughs> yeah. As far as I can tell <laughs> um, They all sound like they're about the same thing Yeah, yeah except for, for what one, They're yeah. literally they're Because I read a bunch of his books I went through like a huge John Grisham phase in, in When I was in high school Oh and shout out to uh, my brother Mike Mesa The reason why I read this book Is because he used to read these books And for some strange reason Which I don't understand He used to want my mom to read them So he would leave him at the house When he would come visit and My mom's never gonna read this shit You know <laughs> So I would just pick it up And go like oh it's cool But literally Every single one of his books Is about a lawyer They're usually maybe from the south They're white And in my head I don't remember any of the characters names They're all Mitch they're all Mitchell McBeer. <laughs> like he's the same one, you know? That's funny. Um, another one. Um, Gene Hackman is in three of his adaptations. Mm. The Firm, The Chamber, and Runaway Jury. That's oh. That's funny. And last but not least, in the movie and the book, Mitch is like in a cult-like firm, right? They're like very yeah. controlling, very creepy. And in real life, he's in an actual cult. Oh, yeah, that's what we're saying. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a scientist. Yeah. 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 That's all I got, Gio. What do you got? I think you got most of them. Yeah. yeah I think everything else is not that as good. The last one was a not fun fact. Like yeah. Scary one. <laughs> the name of the dog is Hearsay. Oh. <laughs> I hated that. I was like, you fucking nerd. Like, no. 
Name him Max or something. Apparently, uh, <laughs> Tom Cruise wanted to uh, direct and star in this movie. Wow. And let's see. Let's see if we can find one more. Not. And that was Geo's Fun Fact Corner. I'm honestly so I know we're gonna wrap it up, but I'm so surprised that I got one. I think you got one. Yeah. That's that's and that's the problem. win for me. Okay. You know? Yeah. You tried. You tried. You tried. That's yeah. what it's all about. And like if you really consider how I started off this thing, like you really are on top. So. Oh, totally. Yeah. So we have four outs wow. and one in. Damn you, Gio. Wow. Take it. I'll take it. It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tom Cruise is running. That's what I'm thinking. I told you the premise was good. It was good enough. You don't have to repeat yourself. I get you it. You should read the book. <laughs> no, I want to read the book. Uh, all right. I have it. You want to borrow it? I'll borrow it. Yeah, yeah. I'll borrow it. I want to read it. Maybe I'll do audiobook. I don't know. <laughs> oh, chingado. <Maybe. laughs> it's narrated by Wilford Brimley. <laughs> Who the hell did I hit? <laughs> <laughs> I was in this movie. <laughs> Cut my, goes, cut my finger on the page. Goes beyond and shit. Tune in next week. We watch a new movie. A new movie is Cyrano, starring Peter Dinklage, and directed by Joe Wright. He's a pretty popular director. He, he does some good movies here and there. I, I, I'll say one, Pride and Prejudice, I guess. <gasps> right? And to continue on this theme, this topic, movies based on books you read, a book you read, Ricardo, what is your pick? My pick is A Clockwork Orange. Oh, okay. Dum, that's where you hit music. Dum. I don't have anything. I'll add something. I'll add something. Uh, yeah, so get ready for this um, uh, dark shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Stanley Cooper's yeah. famous one. Okay, get you. Yeah. To trip out. Please don't forget to follow us at podpage.com forward slash and out the lead. Is there a one stop shop for all of our old episodes and social medias? And yeah, so we'll tune in next week. Good night. Bye. Bye.